Have you ever dealt with stinky or sour smelling clothes and don't know how to get that odor out of the clothes? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover seven foolproof ways to get the stink out of your clothes. So let's dive right in. It could be just clothes from your clothes pile or could be cigarette smoke, basement odors, musty attic smells, mothballs, gasoline, secondhand or thrift store smells, mold or mildew, a garage smell, a garbage smell, body odors. There's so many different things that can cause something to smell bad. So let's cover the best ways to get rid of the smell so that you don't have to throw out those clothes. Now, some of these tips might take one, two, or even three methods to get the odor out of the clothes, but most of the time they do work. I've tried them many times and on things that you would not even believe could be stinky. And you're gonna be shocked at some of the tricks that you can use to get rid of odors. Number one on the list is the most obvious, wash the garment. If the garment is machine washable, this is absolutely the best place to start. They even make odor eliminating detergents now, and you can finish it up with some fabric dryer sheets. And they also make some of those little scent pellets. In fact, I will put links to all of these items, as always, in the description below. Number two on the list is really helpful if you have a very delicate garment, especially something that might be hand wash or dry clean only. Try hanging it in the bathroom. Sometimes the steam from the shower is enough to get rid of that odor. I have used this method for silk, rayon, and polyester garments. If hanging the garment in the bathroom doesn't work, then we're gonna move on to tip number three, and that is a steam iron or a hand steamer. So I have this little travel steamer. It is my go-to. I really don't do much ironing anymore because of this little steamer. And not only is it taking the wrinkles out of the garment, but the steam is sanitizing. It's hot. It's going to sanitize the garment and kill a lot of those stinky odors that are in there. And it's a great way to get odors out of clothes. And steaming is much easier than you think. You just fill the steamer with some water, let it heat up. When the steam starts coming out, you hang the garment on the back of a door or on the shower curtain rod. You just slightly go over the garment, especially hitting those power areas like underarms or around the neck that might be causing the odor and just go over it, let it sit for a little bit and see if that did the trick. And it might, you might need to go quite a few times to really permeate the garment and get that steam in there and allow it to go. Just one gentle, quick glide is not gonna do it. You're, you might need to keep going back over it a few times. Tip number four is the most expensive option, but it does work and that is dry cleaning. They use solvents on the clothes and it helps to remove any unpleasant odors. Tip number five is try using a fabric spray. Now these are a great way to refresh clothes. Maybe you were out at a club and it picked up club scents or cigarettes. The fabric spray is a great way to refresh the garment. Just give it a, or maybe you wore it the night before and want to get an extra day out of it, just a little spritz of fabric spray will do the trick. And I will put a link to the one that I use most often. Now number six is probably going to be the most shocking one. In fact, if you know it's number six, when I tell it to you, I want you to put in the comments below that you know about this one. Because so many people, when I tell them this trick, they are shocked that this is something that works. And it is the freezer. The freezer is my secret weapon. I have received garments with mildew, cigarette, animal scents, mothballs, and body odors. And every single time this trick has worked for me. Freezing them seems to be my go-to method now. And to freeze the clothes, you're simply going to put them in the freezer overnight. It seems a bit awkward sticking clothes directly in the freezer, and you can always place them in a Ziploc bag if that makes you feel more comfortable, and then place them in the freezer. And then the next day, you're gonna remove the garment, and it should be odor-free. It kills off a lot of the bacteria that is creating that odor, and it's an amazing trick. Tip number seven I have for you is a great way to keep already freshened clothes smelling good for a very long time so that they don't absorb those 
odors of the closet or the basement or the garage and that is sachets. Now you can purchase sachets, which I have some links, but you can also make your own sachets using things you probably already have or some natural materials that are very easy to come by. You can use essential oils, just a few drops, and some of my favorite scents are lavender, balsam, fir, lemon bee balm, rosemary, and rose petals. In fact, I've linked to a video here on how to make your own sachets and they're a great way to freshen up your closet, make it smell great and keep odors away from your clothes. Do you have any ways to get sour smells out of clothes that I've missed? I'd love to hear, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.